Nicholas Copernicus, an eminent figure in the history of science, was born on February 19, 1473, in Torun, a city in Royal Prussia, which was then part of the Kingdom of Poland. Copernicus was born into a merchant family, and although his parents intended him to pursue a career in law, his early passion for astronomy soon led him down a different path. During his formative years, Copernicus received a well-rounded education. He attended the University of Krakow, where he studied liberal arts, mathematics, and astronomy. His studies exposed him to the works of ancient astronomers such as Ptolemy, which deeply influenced his thinking. Copernicus developed a keen interest in astrology, a common pursuit at the time, and he diligently observed the movements of celestial bodies, recognizing patterns that intrigued him. Copernicus's talents in mathematics and astronomy did not go unnoticed, and he was appointed as a canon in the Catholic Church. This position not only provided him with financial stability, but also allowed him to pursue his scientific endeavors more freely. In addition to his religious duties, Copernicus served as an economic advisor to the Polish king, Sigismund I. His involvement in the Prussian economy helped him understand the complexities of trade and finance, which influenced his later work. Copernicus's most significant contribution to science lies in his revolutionary heliocentric theory. Contrary to the widely accepted geocentric model, which placed Earth at the center of the universe, Copernicus proposed that the Sun, not Earth, was the center of the cosmos. In his magnum opus, De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium, on the revolutions of the heavenly spheres, published in 1543, Copernicus presented a detailed mathematical model of the solar system, with the planets revolving around the Sun in elliptical orbits. This heliocentric theory marked a paradigm shift in astronomy, challenging the prevailing religious and scientific beliefs of the time. Copernicus's work posed a direct challenge to the authority of the Church, as it contradicted the biblical view of a stationary Earth. However, Copernicus was cautious about the potential backlash, and he delayed publishing his work for many years. When De Revolutionibus was finally published, Copernicus dedicated it to Pope Paul III, hoping to gain his support and avoid condemnation. Despite this dedication, the Church eventually condemned Copernicus's theory as heretical, leading to its prohibition in 1616. Nonetheless, Copernicus's work laid the foundation for the scientific revolution and sparked a wave of scientific inquiry and debate. Copernicus left behind a remarkable legacy. His heliocentric theory challenged the prevailing beliefs of his time and paved the way for future scientific advancements. It provided a more accurate framework for understanding the movements of celestial bodies, offering a clearer explanation for phenomena that had long perplexed astronomers. His mathematical calculations and observations became a basis for further scientific discoveries, ultimately leading to the development of modern astronomy. In addition to his heliocentric theory, Copernicus also made valuable contributions to mathematics. He developed a mathematical method called the Copernican system, which facilitated more accurate calculations of planetary positions and movements. His systematic approach and meticulous calculations demonstrated the power of mathematics as a tool for understanding the natural world. Although Copernicus did not witness the immediate acceptance of his ideas, his work revolutionized the field of astronomy and left an indelible mark on scientific progress. His willingness to question established beliefs and pursue the truth, even in the face of opposition, exemplifies the spirit of scientific inquiry. Nicholas Copernicus remains an enduring figure in the history of science, a pioneer whose ideas continue to shape our understanding of the universe.